Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here, nigga. Hello, everyone. This is Calvin Russell, CEO and founder of 850 Club Credit Consultation. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today, we're going to talk about how my wife and I were able to go to the Drake and Migos concert uh, for free. Okay, so um, actually, I've been putting off this video for quite some time just because I actually lost the footage uh, that we had. Uh, not to necessarily show proof that we were there, but it's always kind of cool to kind of see. Uh, you know how everything was but you're probably like what does this have to do with credit a lot actually so uh let's jump straight into it um number one when tickets go on sale for concerts um events or whatever a lot of times they have what you call the pre-sale event okay uh, normally with pre-sale events you have to have either one of two different types of credit cards depending on the the venue and the, the ticket sale person okay so in this case it was Ticketmaster. And in this particular case, um, you know, the pre-sale was for people that had American Express cards. Now, sometimes it is Citibank cards as well, but for the most part, I think it's always American Express. Uh, but either way, long story short, yeah, we got American Express. Uh, but at the same time, what we did was we noticed a couple different things. Number one is that when you purchase and when you uh, buy tickets during the pre-sale event, by the way, let me break something down. Anytime you buy tickets to go to an event, if it's like like a day or so away, there's a 95% chance you're buying a, re a resold ticket or a resale ticket, okay? Most tickets are purchased prior to, okay? During the whole resale process or the pre-sale process, as I should say. So with American Express, they allow you to buy up to, up to, I think, either six tickets that you can purchase with your American Express card. This doesn't have to be an American Express charge card. Um, you know, it can be a standard credit card. I don't think it can be the American Express debit card. That's for sure. I don't think so. So either way. We were able to do that. We bought uh, four tickets. We didn't buy six. We bought four, and they were 150, uh, about 150 dollars a piece. Okay, these were floor tickets. These were like on the floor. So uh, Ticketmaster normally, I know, like at this particular venue, it was 150 for the floor, 100 for the middle levels, and then 50 for like the way up top. Okay, and that's the standard, you know, price. By the way, I'm a huge Drake fan. So again, and as big as he is now, especially with Migos, I don't even know if you guys into rap but i'm a, i'm hoping some well not hoping but I'm, I'm, I'm assuming some of you guys are so uh but either way uh with that being said um we noticed that of course like man you know these tickets normally cost we've sat on the floor before and of course didn't even think about pre-sale and all the rest of that stuff we've had american express for years and um, we didn't even know about the whole pre-sale process but either way we paid like four hundred dollars to be on the floor before like per ticket okay and because that's i mean you know everyone has their own thing me when i go to a concert i like to be close you know so it's just I don't know, the, the camaraderie's there, everybody's there. I got a chance to take a, a photo with 40, if you guys know who 40 is. By the way, random, random, random fact. Um, you know, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but 40's mom is actually the teacher who played in A Christmas Story. I don't know if you guys remember that movie, so. But random, random, so. Uh, but either way, so we, of course, had four tickets. That was $600 total, okay? So what we did was we sold the, uh, we kept two for ourselves, all right? And we sold the other two tickets uh, for about, I think, uh, $390 a piece or something like that. So not only did it cover what we paid, it also left money in our pockets for, you know, to buy extra stuff when you get to the concert. So by the way, it was pretty cool. Now, what does that have to do with credit? Well, clearly you got to have an American Express or a Citibank, uh, you know, credit card. But of course, push for the Amex. Uh, of course, it doesn't have to be gold. It doesn't have to be nothing fancy. It could just be a, the green charge card. It could be an American Express every day, which again, these credit cards, you got to have at least a 670 680. I've seen a little bit lower scores uh, get approved, but those were more seasoned, you know, credit reports. People that have had credit bill for at least a year or two, you know, so, but either way, um, if you don't necessarily have that 670, 680 score, uh, maybe, maybe a 650 could get you a 660, but either way, you most definitely want to qualify for that and take advantage of that. It doesn't have to be a rap concert, if you know, if it's, of course, if it's pop or, you know, if there's a Paw Patrol event, because I got a kid, you know, so if there's always type of events like Disney on Ice, things that sell out. People turn this into a business, by the way. They buy up, like, you know, they have, you no know, because uh, it's six credit, uh, it's six 
uh, tickets per credit card. You can have multiple American Express cards. I've helped people get multiple Express uh, American Express cards in one day. You know, so if you're buying multiple of these tickets, granted, you don't want to get stuck with them either. But if they're priced right, you'll get rid of them easily. And that's what we did. I think we held on to our tickets for, we bought the tickets about three months before the event. So that was a pre-sale. And then we sold them about two months, maybe a month and a half beforehand. So of course, we had to pay the credit card bill in between that time too you know so but again it was a great investment so just something to just think about something to look into uh not just for rap concerts for any type of event because that's where again most of these tickets are being sold and we and we resold them on Ticketmaster. you can resell them on Ticketmaster or StubHub. StubHub actually has better numbers but for some reason i think Ticketmaster kind of changed their numbers around because it actually worked out a little bit better for us than it did StubHub this time which is random so but either way again if you want to go to a concert or an event for free buy some tickets up during the pre-sale event well, like i'm telling you that's why for example a great example when beyonce was on a tour just recently with jay-z people were complaining that the tickets were so high that's not on her again these are the people that's the the resale tickets from people that bought the pre-sales and they knew people were going to buy them and yet you better believe they did you know so talk about a come up okay so you know well this is youtube i gotta be you know nice so talk about a great opportunity so <laughs> but either way uh thank you guys so much for watching this video of course if you like it like it you want to share it share it and as always be sure to subscribe as we have nothing but great content on the way and of course a special surprise coming up uh before the end of the year thank you all so much it's a good amount of those shows that are right here in motherfucking Chicago. I'm gonna tell you how much. And I feel like that's right. Everybody on my right side, you good? Everybody on my left side, you good? Everybody in the back, you good? Everybody up front, you good? Let's keep going in there. I was sitting here thinking, have I been coming to Chicago for so long? Thank you.